Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about what are sessions and cookies and we're also going to show how to implement sessions and cookies in Flask web development. You know Flask is a Python based web development framework using which you can easily build web applications in Python. I've already made a playlist on how to do web applications with Flask and I will leave the link of this playlist in the description. So check it out if you want to know more about Flask web development. All right, what are sessions and cookies and why do we need them? You know, before answering that question, the protocol we use for browsing web applications is HTTP and it is stateless. And what do I mean by stateless? A HTTP request doesn't know anything about the previous HTTP request. Hence, it is stateless. So let's try to see that with an example. Let's say I have a browser and I have a server which is hosting my web application. So I go to the preferences page of the web application and say my date of birth is 19 August 2023. And now if I make a request, what is my age? If the server didn't store the data from the previous request, it can't answer this question because the protocol doesn't remember the previous requests. So in order to build up the context as the HTTP request arrived to the server, the server needs to store the data somewhere and that is a requirement for cookies and sessions. So let's try to solve this problem with cookies and sessions. Let's cover cookies now. So servers use cookies to store the data in the browsers of the user. So the data would be stored not in the server, it would be stored in the user's browser. Let's take an example. Let us say there is a browser and there is a web server hosting the web application and the browser will request a page from the server and the server in response sends the page and also sends the cookie. The cookie can be sent by a response header. You can create a response header something like set cookie and in the response header data you can write something like theme equal to dark and the cookie is theme equal to dark with the key value theme and the value of the cookie is dark. Once the cookie is set like this by the server in the browser, for the subsequent requests after setting the cookie, every time the request is sent, the browser will attach the cookie with the request. That means for the subsequent request, a cookie will be sent in the request header saying that theme equal to dark. So when the request comes to the server, the server can read the cookie and get to know about the data from the browser. So this is how cookies can be used to store the data in the browser and the data will be sent to the server every time the request is sent and the server can get to know the context of the requests. All right, we got to know about cookies. Let's try to implement cookies in a Python Flask server. Let's try to take a blank folder and let's try to open this in VS Code. Let's try to create a new file. I'll just name it server.py. Now we can make this Python file a Flask server. So this is a simple Flask server that sends hello world at the root URL. Now let's try to add the code to set a cookie by the server in the browser. Let's try to create a new route. I'll just name it slash cookie. So when the user goes to the route slash cookie, the server should set a cookie. Let's try to do that. First, let's try to create a response. So to create a response, let's try to import the make response from Flask. And then I'm gonna write response equal to make response. And let's try to send HTML that says cookie is set. Now before sending the response, let's try to set the cookie in the response. So I'm going to write response.setCookie and as per our example, let's try to set a cookie named theme and let's try to set the value as dark. And now our response is ready. Let's try to return the response. All right. Now, when you go to the URL slash cookie, a cookie named theme should be set in your browser. All right. Let's try to run this server now. And you can see the server is running on port 5000. So let's try to visit the server at localhost 5000. And now you can see hello world. Now let's try to see whether cookies are present in the browser. So let's go to the developer tools. You can click these three icons and go to the developer console. Here it's more tools, web developer tools. And here in the storage section, just go to the cookies section and you can see what are the cookies of this website. Currently there are no cookies. Let's try to split the screen. And now let's go to the URL slash cookie. And here, if I go to the cookies section, I've got a new cookie theme equal to dark. So this is the cookie which is set by the server in the browser when I go to this page slash cookie. So now let's go to the original home page, which is localhost 1500. Still the cookie is present in the browser. And now let's try to see whether the browser is sending the cookie to the server. So let's go to the network tab and let's try to remove all the requests here and let's try to reload the page. You see when the request is going to the server, in the request headers, there is a header called cookie and theme equal to dark is being sent by the browser. Because the server has set the cookie in the browser, 
for the subsequent request the browser will send the cookie to the server this way now the server can get to know the context of the previous request so this is one way to persist data between the requests now at the server if you want to access the cookies sent by the browser you can just write something like this first input the request from flask and you can say request.cookies.get so from the request headers you can read the cookies at the server side using something like request.cookies.get and the key of the cookie so the result should be dark here when you set the theme as dark it will be sent in the cookies and it can be read at the server side so this is how you can read the cookies at the server side so this is how cookies work one thing to notice is that cookies are stored as plain text in the browser and the data is not in control of the server so any malicious parties can modify the cookies and even anyone can see the cookies in the developer tools so sensitive and critical data should not be stored in the cookies and if it is stored like that it should be at least encrypted because the data will be visible to all all right we covered what are cookies and how to implement cookies in a flask web server now let's go to the another way where the server can persist data between requests at the server side and it is called sessions in the cookies the data will be stored in the browser and in the sessions the data will be stored in the server so let's see how sessions work Let's say we have a browser and we have a server where the web application is hosted. Let's say the browser sent a request to the server. It may be something like a login form where the browser is sending the username and password. Let's say the server has validated the username and password and it has authenticated the user. Now the requirement is in the next request, the browser should not send the username password again. The server should remember the session. So how can it be done? The server will create a session store in the backend and it will create a unique ID and store the data of the session in that session store with that key. And this session key would be sent to the browser as a cookie. So now the session data is stored at the server, but only the session ID will be sent to the browser in a cookie. So in the response sent by the server, a header set cookie will be set and the data would be session equal to the session ID of the server session. And since a cookie is set in the subsequent request sent by the browser, the session cookie would be sent and the ID would be known to the server and the server will look up the ID and get to know what is the username that is logged in. So this way, using sessions, server can persist the context between the requests from the browser. And the advantage is the session data would be visible only to the server and only session ID would be sent to the browser. So sensitive and critical information will not be exposed to the browser. That is why sessions are more secure than the cookies. And unlike cookies, Sessions can't be tampered because the data is not present in the browser, it's present in the server. So this is how sessions work. All right, we got to know what is a session. Let's try to implement that in a Python Flask web server. So this is a bare bones Flask server where you just get hello world at the root URL. Now let's try to create a session when the user visits the home page. It's really simple. Just import the session from Flask and set the session here, session of the key inside the session. Let's say the username equal to John. So when the user visits the home page, a session would be created for that request and the key username would be set to John in that session. Let's try to make a response here. So I'm going to write response equal to make response and I'm going to say session variable is set and instead of returning hello world, let's try to return the response and that's it. Just using the session from flask and setting the key value pair, you can create a session at the server. All right. Now let's try to create another route where the server can access the session data. So let's try to create a route called slash get and let's try to access the session. It's really simple. You can just write session dot get and the key is username and the default value can be none. Let's try to assign it to your variable username equal to and now let's return the username in response to the browser. So I'm going to write return and let's try to create a string. The username is the variable username. And that's it. When the user goes to the home page, a session will be set and if I go to another page called slash get, the server will access the session and try to return the session data to the browser. So let's try to see this example. I'm going to run this and before visiting the page, let's try to see the developer tools and here in the storage, already a cookie is present from the previous application. Let's try to delete this cookie. So I'm going to right click and delete all cookies now. And now let's try to reload the page localhost 5000. Obviously you'll get an error, secret key is not set. So let's try to set a secret key, app.secretkey 
and here there should be some kind of random string for this example i have just written something like server secret string but actually you should create a something randomly generated string here because this secret key is used to sign the session data by the flash server we'll talk about the secret key and signing of the session later on but let's try to run this application first so i have set the secret key for the application and saved it and let's try to reload the application again and you can see the session variable is set now let's try to go to the developer tools and see the storage and see the cookies here and now you got a cookie called session and the value of the cookie is set by the server and this is the cookie here and this can be used to get the session data at the server so we have set in the session data the username is john and now if i go to the url slash get you see the username is john in the browser we haven't kept anything like a username but from the server you got the session data so that's how easy it is to implement sessions in flask you can set the sessions using the session of the session key and you can retrieve the sessions at the server by using the session dot get now let's talk about how sessions are implemented by default in flask you know just now we talked about how sessions work but the default flask sessions are different so let's see how it works now when the browser sends a request the server creates a session data and sends the whole sessions data to the browser so the session data is stored as a cookie in the browser instead of storing the session id in the browser this is how the sessions are implemented by default in flask the session data is stored in the browser as a cookie but the sessions come with some added security compared to cookies so the session is not stored directly actually the session comprises of a base 64 version of the whole session data dot the timestamp at which the session was updated dot the sha1 or the hash of the session update time and the server secret and now this is the reason why we got the error initially because the flask server secret is required to sign the session and send it as a cookie to the browser and now in the subsequent requests the cookie session would be set and the whole session data would be sent to the server and the server will retrieve the session obviously before retrieving the session data the server will compare the signature to see if the session was tampered so this is how flash sessions work by default the session data is actually not stored at the server but actually it's stored in the browser as a cookie this being said let's try to examine how the flash sessions are implemented by default with our example so in our example the session was set as a cookie here and this is the session value let's try to copy this session value and let me try to paste it in a notepad so this is the session value you can see it has three parts as we discussed this is the session data this is the time stamp and this is the signature of the session so if i just tamper this session the server will get to know because the signature will not match the session data all right how can i get the session data from this string it's just the base 64 encoding of the session data so let's try to copy this so since the string is a base 64 encoded string let's try to decode it as base 64 and if i just decode it you can see the session data directly here username john that means the session data is visible to the browser and anyone can see the session data so by default the session data is visible in the browser so if you use default flash sessions take care that sensitive data will not be stored in the session because it's visible to the browser but hey what if you want to implement server side sessions in flask applications it's really simple actually you can install a python module called flask session So let's try to do that now. Let's try to open a command prompt and try to install the Flask session module. So I'm going to write python minus m pip install Flask session, and let's try to run this command. And now I've installed the Flask session Python module. So Flask session Python module can be used to implement server side sessions in Flask. So since I've installed the module, let's try to import the session class from the Flask session module. So I'm going to write from Flask session import the session class, and now Let's try to initialize the application with this Flask session. So for that, you got to pass the app to the session class. And since we are doing the server side sessions, you don't need the secret key now. And now let's talk about some other configuration. One configuration you have to set is app config session permanent equal to false. That means the session data would be deleted once the session is expired. And I kept the session type as file system. That means the session data would be stored at the server in the file system folder as files so having made these two configurations and initialized my application with the session class now i literally need not do anything 
the same code will work using the session from flask but the data would be stored at the server now let's try to save this and let's go to the browser and we can delete the cookies and now let's try to run this server and now let's go to the application at localhost 5000 and it's saying the session variable is set let's go to the developer tools and see the cookies in the storage and you got a session so in the session cookie the value is now not the whole session data it's just the session id actually so the session data is now not stored in the browser but it's actually stored in the server and in the server by default a folder called flash session would be created and all the session data would be stored in this flash session folder and now let's try to see the session data and if you go to slash get you get the username is john the username is fetched on the server but it's not stored in the browser it's actually stored in the session storage inside the server so this way using the flash session module you can implement server side sessions instead of default flash sessions now using flash session module you can actually store sensitive data in your sessions because the session data is being stored at the server so that's it guys this is how you can implement cookies and sessions in your flask applications so we have covered why do we need cookies and sessions what is a cookie and how to implement that in a flask web server what is a session and how to implement that in a flask web server and we got to know how sessions are implemented by default in flask actually the data would be stored in the browser not at the server side to overcome this we can use the flask session module to actually store sessions at the server side instead of the browser in flask applications you can see i've created a blog post on how to use sessions and cookies in flask applications i've also given the notes and images and i've also given you the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer i've also given you the references to the official documentations and some external links so that you can do further reading please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace